Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little cardigan sweater, coat or jacket for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. The stitch that I used to make this little cardigan sweater is the snowdrop crochet stitch. I made it to match the baby blanket that I showed you a few weeks ago. Many of you commented and asked that I make the matching little cardigan sweater, so here it is and I hope you like it. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you the link to the baby blanket as well. Now, this little sweater, like I said, it's for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to four to five years old. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Out. and as always if you prefer written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well thank you so much for your support now to make this little sweater this is the yarn that I used it's DK weight yarn you can also use any number three yarn or eight ply now the main color is white so in the color white you're going to need about 153 grams 17 grams in pink so in total 170 grams for the three to six month size you will need less or more depending on the size that you make you will also need five buttons these buttons here are 14 millimeter size you can also use 12 13 or 14 like i did now here's the little blanket that i showed you i'll leave the link in the information box below as well okay let's get started but don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell and comment below and let me know what you think of this little sweater also comment and let me know if you want me to make a matching little hat i'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all thanks so much for watching to make this little sweater, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three yarn or eight ply. At the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using, and I told you how much yarn I'm going to need for the size that we're making. Also, make sure to watch to the end of the tutorial since that is where I'm going to give you the finished measurements of this little sweater. Okay, so to begin here, I have 58 chains. This chain without stretching, it's measuring about 12 inches which is about 30.5 centimeters now if your chain is off by one or two centimeters it's okay continue to continue with the first row into the second chain from the hook one two into this second chain here i'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do one single crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 57 single crochets i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row this is where i did single crochets i have a total of 57 single crochets now for row two i'm going to chain one and turn beginning on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet now into the next single crochet i'm going to make a shell each one of these shells is going to always consist of two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. Again, skip one and into the next, make another shell. In total, I'm going to make four. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make your third shell skip one single crochet and into the next make the fourth shell there i have four shells one two three four this here is for the first front panel now I'm going to make the first corner. So I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the next, I'm going to make a V stitch. Each one of these V stitches is always going to consist of a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now, before you continue, place a stitch marker in the center of this V stitch. Now for the shoulders, I'm going to make a total of four shells, just like I did here. So I'm going to skip one and into the next, I'm going to make the first shell for the shoulders or the sleeves. Skip one and into the next, make the second shell. Skip 
skip one and into the next, make the third shell. Skip one and into the next, make the fourth shell. There, I have my four shells. One, two, three, four. Now skip one and into the next, make a V stitch. This is the second corner. Now place a stitch marker in the center of this V stitch. And now we're going to continue for the back side. For the back side, I'm going to make a total of eight shells. So same thing, skip one and into the next, make a shell. Skip one and into the next, the second shell, and so on until you have eight shells for the back side. So continue, make these eight shells, and then I'll come back and show you how to make the third corner. I finished making these eight shells for the back side. We have two, four, six, eight. Now we're going to make the third corner. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a V stitch. Place a stitch marker to mark the center of this V-stitch. And now we're going to continue for the shoulders. We're going to make four shells. So skip one and into the next, make a shell. Skip one and into the next, make the second shell. Skip one and into the next, make the third shell. Skip one and into the next, make the fourth shell. Okay, here are the four shells for the shoulder or the sleeve. Now we're going to make the fourth corner. Skip one and into the next, make a V stitch. Place a stitch marker in the center of this V-stitch. And now we're going to make four shells for the second front panel. So skip one and into the next, make a shell. Skip one and into the next, make the second, and so on until you have four shells. Now here at the end, we're going to be left with one single crochet. So I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here's my last shell for the second front panel. I have four here. Now to finish at the end here, I have a single crochet. Here at the end, I'm going to make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now at the end of this row, you should have 24 shells. Each one of the front panels has four shells. Each one of the shoulders or the sleeves here has four shells. And for the back side, I have eight shells and we have four corners. So that's a total of 24 shells with four corners. Now in the next rows, this is what we're going to do. We have our corners we have two double crochets, double crochet number one and double crochet number two of a V-stitch. And in the center, we have the chain space. What I'm going to do in the next row is, here, let me turn this. On top of the first double crochet here, I'm going to make a shell. Inside the chain space, I'm going to make a V-stitch. And into the second double crochet of the V-stitch here, I'm going to make a shell so that from here on, we increase one stitch for the front panels, two stitches for the sleeves, and for the back side, two stitches as well. So that at the end of each row from here on, we are going to increase by eight stitches. So let me show you. For the third row here, we always begin by chaining two. We have the first shell. Into the chain space of the first shell, I'm going to make a shell. Now these shells in between the corners will consist of two double crochets one chain and then a front post single crochet into the first 
double crochet. So they will be slightly different than these that we did here and the ones that we're going to increase. So let's continue into the second, make a shell again. So two double crochets, chain one, and then a front post single crochet into the first double crochet. Same thing for the third shell. Same thing for the fourth shell. There, I have my four shells for the front panel. Now I have the first corner. Like I said, we have double crochet number one and double crochet number two of the V-stitch. And then in the center, we have the chain space. So remove that stitch marker. On top of the first double crochet, I'm going to make a shell. So make two double crochets, chain one, single crochet into this same stitch. Now notice that I'm not making a front post single crochet here because I have no way of doing a front post single crochet. So these um, increases or these shells will always consist of two double crochets, chain ones, and then a single crochet into the same space. In the next row, you will be able to work the front post because it'll be the, the extra shell. So now into the chain space, we make a V stitch same thing double crochet chain one double crochet return your stitch marker to mark the center and then on top of the second double crochet you're going to make a shell don't forget each V stitch has two shells these are the increases and this is how each one of the corners should look like we have a shell a V stitch in the chain space and a shell into the second double crochet. Let me show you again. We have the next four shells for the shoulders into the first chain space of the first shell. Make a shell into the next, same thing, two double crochets, chain one, front post, single crochet. Same thing into the third. And same thing for the fourth. Now we have the corner, remove the stitch marker. We have two double crochets and a chain space. On top of the first double crochet, make a shell. Two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. In the chain space, make a V-stitch. Return your stitch marker to mark the center of the V-stitch. And into the second double crochet of the V-stitch, make a shell. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. And the shells in between, you already know, you just make a shell, which consists of two double crochets, chain one, and a front post single crochet. And that's how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have my last shell for this front panel. Here I have five. We have the increase that we did, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Now to finish here at the end, we have a single crochet. Here at the end, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish this third row. Now at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 32 shells. Each one of the front panels has five shells. Each one of the shoulders has six shells. And for the back side, you should have 10 shells. So that's a total of 32 shells at the end of this third row. And we have four corners. Each corner has a V stitch. Now for row four, start with two chains and turn. Now we have these five shells, one, two, three, four, five. In the chain space of each shell, we make a shell. And these shells always consist of two double crochets, one chain, front post, single crochet. So that's one. Into the next chain space of the next shell, make the second shell. Into the next, that's three. 
into the next. That's four. Into the next. That's five. And now we have the V-stitch. Remove the stitch marker. We have two double crochets. We have double crochet number one, a chain space, and double crochet number two. On top of the first double crochet, make a shell. And these shells consist of two double crochets, chain one, single crochet on top of this first double crochet. Now in the chain space, you're going to make a V-stitch again. Return the stitch marker to mark the V-stitch and into the second double crochet of the corner here in the V-stitch, make a shell there. So each corner will be worked in the same way. On top of the first double crochet, you're going to make a shell in the chain space, you're going to make a V-stitch, and in the second double crochet, you're going to make a shell. Now we have the next shells here for the shoulder. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So here in the chain space of each shell, you're going to make a shell, and these shells have front post single crochets. That's one, five and six. There, now we have our second corner, remove the stitch marker, and in the first double crochet of this V-stitch, make a shell. In the chain space of the V-stitch, make a V-stitch. Return the stitch marker. Now we have the second double crochet. Make a shell. There. And then you're going to continue and work these shells for the back side in the exact same way as I showed you here. And that's how each corner should be worked. Continue, finish this fourth row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Now to finish, here at the end we have the two chains. Into the second chain here, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish the fourth row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 40 shells. Each one of the front panels has six shells, and each one of the shoulders, or the sleeve here, has eight shells. And for the back side, I have 12 shells. So that's a total of 40 shells at the end of this fourth row. Now for row five, I'm going to chain two and turn. Now from here on, we're going to repeat row four and row five. I'm going to show you row five right now. So chain two, turn, and into each one of the chain spaces of each shell, I'm going to work a shell. And these shells will always consist of two double crochets, chain one, and a front post single crochet. So I'm going to do the same for each one of these six shells for this front panel. The difference is going to come in the corners. We're not going to increase in this row. There, I have my six shells for this front panel, two, four, six. Now in the chain space of the V-stitch, I'm going to remove the stitch marker, and here I'm going to make a single crochet, two chains, and single crochet. Now return your stitch marker, 
And now I'm going to continue and work the next eight shells for the sleeve in the same way as I showed you for the front panel. So two double crochets, chain one, and then a front post single crochet. Now I'll continue along this way, making sure to do the same thing on each one of the corners. Just make a single crochet, two chains, and then a single crochet. At the end of this fifth row, I'm going to have 40 shells as well. So finish, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. To finish here into the second chain, make a half double crochet. Now at the end of this fifth row, I have 40 shells. I have six shells for each one of the front panels, eight shells for each one of the sleeves, and 12 shells for the back side. In this row, we have not increased. So now for row six, I'm going to chain two and turn. In this sixth row, I am going to increase, so let me show you. Now beginning into the first shell, I'm going to make a shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and then a front post single crochet. Here are the six shells for this front panel, two, four, six. Now we have the first corner, remove the stitch marker, and into the first single crochet right on top, I'm going to make a shell. So here I'm going to make two double crochets, one chain, and then a single crochet. Now in the chain two space, I'm going to make a V stitch. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Return the stitch marker and now into the second single crochet I'm going to make a shell. And this is how I'm going to work each one of the corners and then for the shells in between you're going to do exactly the same thing I showed you here. So continue, finish this sixth row, I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the sixth row. Now here to finish into the second chain, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish this row. At the end of this sixth row, you should have a total of 48 shells. Each one of the front panels has seven shells. Each one of the sleeves has 10 shells. And for the back side, I have 14 shells. In this sixth row, we have increased. So now for row seven, I'm going to chain two and turn. In this seventh row, I'm not going to increase, so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the fifth row. So for each one of these shells of this front panel, I'm going to make a shell until I come to the first corner where I'm going to show you what you need to do. There, I have these seven shells for the front panel. Now I have the V-stitch, remove the stitch marker, and inside the chain space of this V-stitch, make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet. Return your stitch marker to mark the chain two space, and then continue along and work each one of the shells exactly in the same way how I did them here. Now continue and finish this seventh row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the seventh row. To finish this row into the second chain here at the end, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finished the seventh row. In this row, we did not increase, so I have the same number of shells as I did for row six, which is 48. Each one of the front panels has seven shells. Each one of the sleeves has 10 shells. And for the back side, I have 14 shells. 
Now for row eight, I'm going to chain two and turn. In this row, I'm going to increase. So here I'm going to work one shell into each one of these seven shells for this front panel. And then I'm going to show you how you're going to work each one of the corners. I finished making these seven shells, two, four, six, seven. Now we have the first corner, remove the stitch marker, and on top of the first single crochet, make a shell. In the chain two space, make a V-stitch. And in the second single crochet of this corner, make a shell. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. And then for the shells in between, you're just going to do them exactly how I did them here. Now continue, finish this eighth row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the eighth row. In this row, we did increases. I have a total of 56 shells at the end of this row. Now each one of the front panels has eight shells. Each one of the sleeves has 12. And for the back side, I have 16. Here to finish the row, we're going to go into the second chain and make a half double crochet. Now for row nine, I'm going to chain two and turn. For row nine, I'm not going to increase, so here I'm going to work a shell into each one of these eight shells. So beginning into the first chain space, I'm going to make the first shell. There, I have eight shells for this front panel, two, four, six, eight. Now remove the stitch marker and inside the chain space of the V-stitch, make a single crochet, two chains, single crochet. And that's how you're going to work each one of the corners for this ninth row. And then for the shells in between, you're just going to make them exactly how I did them here for the front panel. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this ninth row. I'm here at the end of the ninth row. To finish the row, go into the second chain here at the end and make a half double crochet. And this is how I finished this ninth row. In this row, we did not increase, so I have a total of 56 shells. Each one of the front panels has eight shells. Each one of the sleeves has 12, and for the back side, I have 16. So that's a total of 56 shells. Now, the yoke is done, so what I'm going to do next here is divide the sleeves. Uh, but first, this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 3.5 inches, which is about nine centimeters. So to continue here, this is going to be the first row. We're going to start counting rows. So for this first row here, chain two and turn. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these eight shells, and then I'll show you what we're going to do once we get to the first corner.
there i finished making these eight shells two four six eight now we have the first corner remove this stitch marker and into the chain two space of this corner i'm going to make a shell two double crochets chain one one single crochet now to separate the first sleeve chain three skip 12 shells two four six eight ten twelve and into the chain two space of the next corner make a shell there now if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve you can there is no specific uh, multiple here but what i would do is um, either do five or seven here if you want to add more that way you add two or three more extra shells in the next row i plan to only add one extra shell here um, in the next row so that's why i chained three um, now for the back side we're just going to continue and work one shell for the back side like i said i have 16. so i'm going to make these 16 shells so i will meet you right here this is the third corner to show you how to separate the second sleeve i finished making the shells for the back side now i have 17 shells including this one here that we did in this corner so that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen seventeen now into this next corner i'm going to make one more shell for the back side so that in total i have 18 shells here for the back side there now to divide the second sleeve chain three like i said you can chain more that would be up to you skip two four six eight ten twelve twelve shells and into the fourth corner make a shell there two double crochets one chain single crochet now continue and work one shell for each one of these eight shells for the front panel i will meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row to finish go into the second chain here at the end and make a half double crochet and this is how i finish this first row where we have separated the sleeves now each one of the front panels has nine shells and for the back side i have 18 shells so that's a total of 36 shells at the end of this first row with three chains under each sleeve now for the second row i'm going to chain two and turn now beginning into the first chain space of this shell i'm going to make a shell and I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these shells for the front panel until I come here under the sleeve. So I will meet you right here. I finished making these nine shells for the first front panel. We have two, four, six, eight, nine. Now we have the three chains here under the sleeve. I'm going to skip the first chain and into the second chain, which is the middle stitch here, I'm going to make a shell. So I'm going to make two double crochets, one chain, and then one single crochet into this same stitch now you're going to do exactly the same thing i did under the second sleeve in the second chain you're going to do this shell now to continue along we have the first shell for the back side in this chain space here i'm going to make a shell and then do the same thing for each one of the shells for the back side and like I said, here under the second sleeve in the second chain, you're just going to do a shell exactly how I did it here and then continue and finish the shells for the second front panel. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. To finish the row, we always go here at the end into the second chain and make a half double crochet. And this is how I finished this second row with a total of 38 shells. We added an extra shell here under each sleeve. So from here on, we're going to continue and work these 38 shells for the body of the little sweater. So all you're going to do here to begin each row is chain two and turn and into each one of the shells, you're going to make a shell exactly in the same way how we've been working these shells. So two double crochets, one chain, and then a front post single crochet. 
at the end like I said you're always going to have 38 shells and to finish you're just going to go here into the second chain and make a half double crochet then chain two and then repeat the same thing for each row from here on now I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the body but continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do now before we continue place a stitch marker here to mark the front of the little sweater this row the third row is being worked on the wrong side so this here is the right side so place a stitch marker that way we know from here on that this is going to be the right side so again row three is being worked on the wrong side continue let's work the body and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making the body of the little sweater now in total from here where we divided the sleeves up to the last row that i did i did a total of 25 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row this part here is measuring about 27 centimeters which is about 10.5 inches now what we're going to do next is we're going to do the hem now the last row that i did was worked on the right side so this next row here is going to be worked from the wrong side so right on top of the last half double crochet here at the end of row 25 insert your hook grab a loop i'm going to use this pink yarn here i'm going to change yarn color if you're not changing yarn color then just go ahead chain one and then make a half double crochet on top of that first stitch so here i'm going to chain one and right into this same stitch here i'm going to make a half double crochet now into each one of the chain spaces of each one of these shells i'm going to make two half double crochets so beginning into the first one make two half double crochets in the chain space of the next shell make two half double crochets and so on this is how i'm going to work this row this would be row 26 so continue let's finish this part and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of row 26 now to finish here at the end into the second chain make a half double crochet and this is how I finish this row at the end of this row I have a total of 78 half double crochets now for row 27 I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn beginning on top of this first half double crochet here make a half double crochet now into the next make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and this is how i'm going to continue for row 27 just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet continue i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of row 27 now at the end here on top of the last stitch make a half double crochet and this is how I finish row 27 with a total of 78 stitches now for row 28 chain one and turn in this row we're going to repeat the same thing so beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now into the next this is a front post so make a front post half double crochet the next one is a back post so make a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on continue like this for row 28 i will meet you at the end i'm here at the end of row 28 now to finish here on top of the last stitch make a half double crochet and this is how i finish this row with 78 stitches at the end of this row and this is how this looks here now the last row that i did here for the hem it was worked on the wrong side so now what we're going to do is this front panel here so we're going to go right here don't cut your yarn or anything we're just going to continue with the same yarn along this side so this row that i'm going to do here for this front panel is going to be worked on the wrong side so chain one here and at the end here where i did the half double crochet into this space make a half double crochet half double crochet at the end of the next row half double crochet at the end of the next so here i have three half double crochets because we did three rows here for the hem now we have this now at the end of each row here for the body we have two chains or a half double crochet we're going to make one half double crochet at the end here of these rows 
for the body. So one half double crochet all the way to the top like this. So remember we have the half double crochet so make one half double crochet at the end and then at the end where we have the two chains same thing. This is how I'm going to work this row. So continue I will meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the top of this left front panel. I did a total of 39 half double crochets. My last half double crochet I did here into the row of chains. So now for row two, I'm going to chain one and turn. Here I'm going to work a half double crochet on top of the first half double crochet, and then I'm going to work a front post half double crochet into the next, back post half double crochet into the next, front post half double crochet into the next and so on this part is the same how we worked the hem so continue finish this side just alternating between front post and back post half double crochets i will meet you here at the end of the second row i finished making the second row here for this left front panel now here at the end on top of the last stitch i did a half double crochet cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and this side here is done now we're going to do the same thing here for the right side so for the right side we're going to start at the bottom we're going to go into this last row here of half double crochets so right at the end, insert your hook right there and grab a loop. Now chain one and right into the same space here, make a half double crochet. Now half double crochet at the end of the next row and a half double crochet at the end of the next row. So here I have three half double crochets because I have three rows here for the hem. Now here at the end for the body we had either a half double crochet or two chains we're going to make one half double crochet at the end of each row like this so continue like this all the way to the top of this first row i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next I finished making these half double crochets along the right front panel. I have 39 half double crochets up to here. Now for row two, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, back post half double crochet. Front post half double crochet into the next and so on. This is how I'm going to work this second row for the right front panel, which is exactly how we did the left front panel. Continue, finish this row. I will meet you here at the end. I finished the second row here for the right front panel. Here at the end, all I did was just make a half double crochet on top of the last stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop, and the front panels are done, and this is how it looks. Now, I did not make any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows here are big enough for buttons to fit through. I normally use 13, 14, or even 15 millimeter size buttons. At the end of the video, I'll show you the buttons that I'm going to use for mine and I'll tell you what size buttons I'm going to use. Remember, you can make this little sweater for boys or girls. If you're making it for girls, this is where you're going to put your buttons and, and this will be the buttonhole side. For boys, it's the opposite. This is where you're going to put the buttons and this is going to be the buttonhole side. Now, what I'm going to do next is the neckline. To do the neckline i'm going to go here to this right side right on top of this last stitch right here grab a loop bring a loop through chain one and make a half double crochet here into this first row here of the right front panel in the next row of the right front panel make another half double crochet so here I have two now along the neckline what we're going to do is one half double crochet for each chain like this all around one half double crochet continue like this all around the neckline I will meet you right here at this other end to show you how we're going to do the second row 
I'm here at this other end of the neckline. I did my last half double crochet here at the end of this last row for this side of the front panel. Now I have a total of 61 half double crochets. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Now here, if you want to leave the neckline like this with, with just one row, you can. The important thing here is that we don't make the neckline too tight. Otherwise, um, it's going to be too tight around the baby's neck and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make one more row, but I'm going to make sure to make these stitches nice and loose so that this part here is not too tight. So for the second row, I'm going to chain one and beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the second, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next, back post half double crochet. Again, I'm making these stitches nice and loose. Into the next, front post half double crochet. Into the next, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is how I'm going to work this second row all around the neckline. At the end of the second row, I'm also going to have 61 stitches. Now this row again, it's optional. You can just leave it with just one row. Now I'm going to continue like this, so I will meet you here at this other end. I finished the second row here for the neckline. At the end, I made my last half double crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop, and the neckline is all done, and this is how it looks. Now what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I already went ahead and did this side. You're going to do it exactly in the same way. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Now we're going to go here to the left side. This here is the left side. And this first row is going to be worked from the wrong side. Again, you're going to do this exactly in the same way when you have to do the, the right side. So we're going to go here right under the sleeve. Right under the sleeve, we have these two chain spaces. These are the chains that were left when we separated the sleeves. And then in the second row, we did this um, shell there. So we have two chain one spaces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the left chain space and I'm going to leave this here so we're going to insert our hook right here into this first chain space grab a loop bring it through and chain two now right into this same space make a double crochet chain one and then a single crochet here I have the first shell now I have the first shell out of the 12 that we left for the sleeve. What I'm going to do is, because if I go right into the first chain space of this first shell, there's going to be a gap and I don't want a gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into this chain space of this corner. This is where we separated the sleeves. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over and now go into the first chain space of the first shell and make your double crochet where you're going to close through these three loops and that way you're going to close this double crochet and this one so this here does not count now finish the shell for this first shell so make another double crochet chain one and then a front post single crochet. Now this is optional. If you don't mind there being a gap here, then just go straight into the first chain space and do your uh, first shell. Now into the next chain space, make the second shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and then a front post single crochet. Remember for the sleeves, we have 12 shells. So continue all around, finish making these shells until you come here to the last one. I will meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. I finished making these 12 shells for the sleeve plus the one that we did in that first chain space. I have 13 shells. Now here at the end I have my last chain space. So here what I'm going to do is there's a big gap between this last shell and the first shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into this corner and I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into this corner, grab a loop, 
take two loops off leave two loops on the hook now yarn over and go into this last chain space and make a double crochet where you close through these three loops there and here's the double crochet decrease that way there's no big gap there and now just finish your last shell so make a double crochet chain one and then a single crochet now at the end of this first row for the first sleeve i have 14 shells to finish go on top of the second chain here at the beginning this is the first shell and make a slip stitch and this is how i finished the first row with 14 shells now we're going to turn don't chain or anything just turn for the second row and here to begin each row you are always going to go into this first single crochet and make a slip stitch and then into the chain space make a slip stitch this here is the first shell so now chain two make a double crochet chain one and then a front post single crochet there here's the first shell and then into each one of the remaining shells in the chain space you make shells so two double crochets chain one and then a front post single crochet and that's how you're going to continue all around so continue i will meet you right here this is the last shell here i'm going to make a decrease so i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish the second row I'm here at the end of the second row. Here's my last shell. Up to here, I have 13 shells. I have the last shell right here. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease this shell so that from here on for the sleeve, I continue with only 13 shells. So to do this here, I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space of this last shell, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go into the second chain here into the first shell and make a slip stitch where you close these two loops and this is how i finish row two with a total of 13 shells now this decrease here is optional you can continue with the 14 shells the only thing is that it's going to be a bit wider but if you're okay with that then that's fine that's okay you can continue with the 14 shells i'm only going to continue with 13 so that's why i decreased this last shell there so now to continue here and make the third row we just turn don't chain or anything just turn and here we have the first shell we have a single crochet a chain space and then two double crochets right on top of the single crochet make a slip stitch and in the chain space make a slip stitch so we always make two slip stitches to begin the row and then we chain two and right into the same chain space make a double crochet chain one and then a front post single crochet so here's the first shell for the third row and from here on all you're going to do is just go into each chain space and make your shell so continue like this all around for this third row i will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to end each row and how to begin each row from here on so that you can continue on your own I'm here at the end of the third row. I have my last shell. So into this last chain space here, I'm going to make my last shell. So two double crochets, chain one, and then a front post single crochet. So here is the last shell at the end of this third row. I have 13 shells. To finish each row, you always go here to the beginning. This is the first shell. Right into the second chain, insert your hook and make a slip stitch now to begin each row you always turn and you always make two slip stitches the first one is on top of the single crochet and then the second one is into the chain space of the first shell now you chain two here and make a double crochet chain one and then a front post single crochet so here's the first shell and to finish you always go into this second chain and make a slip stitch so for row four all you do is just make shells all around from here on we are always going to have 13 shells if you decide to continue with the 14 then you're going to have 14 shells 
and that's how you're going to continue all around. At the end, all you do is just go into the second chain, make a slip stitch turn, and then make those two slip stitches, then chain two and make the first shell in that chain space and then continue in the same way. So for the sleeve here, you're going to do a total of 24 rows and then we're going to do the cuff. So continue, finish these 24 rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making the sleeve. I did a total of 24 rows. At the end of the video, I will leave you the finished measurement. Now, what we're going to do here is the cuff. So to do the cuff, at the end of row 24, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Row 24 was worked on the right side. Now, to start the cuff, I'm going to go into this first shell in the chain space. This first row of the cuff is going to be worked from the right side. So here, bring a loop through. I'm going to make the cuff in pink. So I'm going to chain one and right into this same space here, I'm going to make two half double crochets. Now jump to the next shell in the chain space of the next shell, make two half double crochets. So this is how we're going to work the cuff. In the chain space of each shell, you're going to make two half double crochets for this first row. So like this all around two half double crochets. Continue, finish this first row. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row for the cuff. This is where I did half double crochets all around. I have 26. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows two and three, I'm going to chain one and beginning into this first half double crochet, I'm going to make a firm post half double crochet. Next one, back post, half double crochet. Next one, front post, half double crochet. Back post, half double crochet, and so on. For this row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to alternate between a front post and a back post, half double crochet, all the way to the end. Now, at the end of each row, I'm going to have 26 stitches, and to finish, I'm just going to go on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the third row. Now, continue, finish the cuff, and then I'll come back and show you the finished little sweater, and then I'll give you the finished measurements. I finished making the third row here for the cuff. At the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop, and the sleeve is all done. Continue watching. I'll give you the finished measurements in a little bit. Now, when you have to do the other side, just do it exactly in the same way. So this little sweater is all done and this is how it looks. I went ahead and attached my buttons. These buttons here are 12 millimeter size um, and these buttons I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now, you can also use 12, 13, 14 millimeter size buttons. The button holes are the spaces in between the rows, like I said when we did this side here. So you can add as many buttons as you want. I only added five. So now let me give you the finished measurement. Now from the top of the neckline to the end here of the sleeve, it's measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 19 centimeters, which is about 7.5 inches. This measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is about 4.75 inches. The total length from the top of the neckline to the bottom here, it's measuring about 29.5 centimeters, which is about 11.75 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little cardigan sweater, coat, or jacket is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. You can certainly make it smaller or bigger in the information box below. I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from a newborn size and up to four to five years old. To open the information box, all you have to do is just click the title of the video. Now, I have the matching little blanket in the information box. I'll go ahead and leave you the link as well. Now, one thing I thought after I finished the little sweater is to add a little pocket. Now, this is um, a little sample that I did for this stitch. This is the 3DV stitch. It's um, a blanket that I'm working on for you guys with this beautiful stitch pattern. So if you want to add a little pocket, you can make a little uh, square here 
with the same stitch pattern or a different um, stitch and you can um, add that to your little sweater to make it unique make sure to check the information box for all of the sizes and the link for the baby blanket um, to match the little sweater and the link to my etsy shop if you prefer written pattern okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time